Hey everybody, so this is my very first vlog. I'm attempting to record in 60p, so let me know what you guys think, if you even see a difference. And who knows, depending on how I render it out, it might not be 60p when I'm done. We'll see. Anyhow, so somebody asked me about PHP in 2018. Part of my series, I guess, on should you learn this, should you learn that. The bottom line is that it's very rare that the big dominant languages, and PHP is one of them, it's very rare that they fade from the system. Now you're starting to see that with Ruby. Ruby about seven years ago was very, very big with the hipsters. And now the new hipsters are going into the whole JavaScript thing with Node. And so Ruby is taking it on the chin. And I've heard that there were some big boot camps that are now dropping Ruby from the curriculum because of lack of demand. I'm not surprised, something I had predicted years ago simply because you have PHP on one end, which is very dominant in terms of the freelancer space uh, and, and for small business. Largely, I would say, because of things like Drupal, Joomla, and WordPress, the CMSs that are used so much by small businesses, and all these web apps, all these content management systems are built with PHP. So it only makes sense just because of that. PHP is going to be around for many, many, many years. And I highly recommend PHP, at least until further notice, I highly recommend PHP as the ultimate server-side programming language for the freelancer, simply because so many small businesses rely on that programming language. Ruby, on the other hand, is uh, I think is going to continue to take it on the chin because you got PHP on one hand, as I was saying, and you have, on the other hand, you got... Python, which is very similar looking in many respects to uh, Ruby, although they're, trust me, they're very different, whereas uh, in other respects, because Python is very uh, explicit, everything is very obvious, it's designed that way, whereas Ruby is very elegant, or eloquent, no, elegant, and uh, but a lot of stuff is kind of hidden, but anyway, I'm not going to get into that. That being said, I'm not dissing on Ruby. I think Ruby is a cool language, but I think it's one of it's going to become more and more of a niche technology over time, simply because PHP has it cornered on one end, and on the other end you got Python, and and Ruby is going to go down as as a result. So yeah, PHP in 2018, big thumbs up for freelancers, for freelancers, web development freelancers. That's where the money is. And, uh, of course, you want to get into AI machine learning, it's Python. Anyway, we can discuss that at another time. That's it for this quick vlog. I just got back from my coffee run, and I have to do what I really don't like to do. Well, it's kind of a love or hate situation today. Uh, my year end just ended in corporate structures, at least in North America and probably around the world. You, The year end is dictated by when you you sort of set up the company. So my year end is not January. My year end is at the end of summer. And uh, at that point in time, I have to start organizing all my paperwork so I can hand it off to the bookkeeper. And then the bookkeeper hands it off to the accountant, etc., etc. So we get the, the uh, bookkeeping done. So I just have to organize things for the year end and the month's end because I'm recording this at the beginning of September. So it's, uh, yeah, it's amongst the most boring work you can do, but it's also satisfying because it's kind of like calculating all your points to see how you did this year. And the good thing is that we did uh, not too bad this year. Studio Web is continuing to grow. More and more schools are adopting it. I'm quite happy about that. And what's really cool is that this year, after years of building up infrastructure, modifying the app, uh, uh, refining the app rather, it's now gotten to the point where going, I'm going to go from 80% to 90% infrastructure work to 80 to 90% marketing work. So that's going to be a lot of fun. That's why I was talking about the whole video thing because I want to start putting out more and more and more marketing related videos beyond the, well, beyond the vlogs of course. And that's why I was asking about the professional camera in a previous video, to be able to put out really good content. But based on feedback from people from YouTube, and I appreciate that, and some friends of mine who are pros in uh, video work and stuff, and some of you were correct in saying that A, the lens is a huge part of it, B, the lighting is another huge part of it, 
and C, uh, post-processing is also a big part of the look of the video in terms of the color saturation and so forth. So what I'm doing, I got a middle of the road lens here and the smart approach, instead of going out and buying a $2,000 lens that will likely improve the quality of the video, I'm gonna go rent them. I can rent them at a local camera shop for 30 bucks a day, rent a couple of lenses, take a bunch of shots and just compare the video quality and see how if anything, the lens affects the quality of video before you show out a thousand or fifteen hundred or two thousand dollars on a lens. But when it comes to uh, creating a good impression, when it comes to business, it's important that you that you pay attention to the details. Same thing with your code. You know, it's very important that you know you make sure when you release your code that the app works well. A little details about error messages that are presented to the user and error trapping these things really play a significant role in terms of people's perception of your app and that's one of the reasons why ios and uh, mac os are so successful because they do do that they they really pay attention to those details so iphone it doesn't have the majority of the market because uh, they're very expensive. So, you know, in Android world, they dominate outside of North America and Europe. But I think iPhone still makes 80% of the profits in the whole smartphone market. And again, that's their Apple's attention to detail as far as the user is concerned. That's such an important part of things. Anyhow, I digress. Have a great day. Bye-bye.